Hello, Ash ladies. Hey y'all, for me, Project Term holds some of my fondest memories from my time at Sacred Heart. I feel really lucky that all four years I had such unique experiences venturing from downtown Detroit in the arts world all the way to the Amazon rainforest in Peru. And the relationships, the perspective, and the memories that I made during those experiences were so important to me and continue to be in my everyday life. I learned a lot of great lessons. Um, my worldview expanded and shifted and changed so much. And I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity to see so much of the world at a young age. No matter where you go or what you do, at least for me, the personal growth from Project Term came from the unexpected moments. Missing our flights, not having the right equipment, not knowing a spoken language, having differing opinions, navigating unknown and disparate environments. We got rained out on, like initially. I got stuck in our elevator. It was those experiences that gave me the opportunity to decide how I wanted to respond. You're gonna run into some crazy experiences at Project Term and you're gonna learn so much about where you are. My name is Keely Coyne. I am your favorite alum of the class of 2022. My first piece of advice is be empathetic. You never know what other people are going through and that includes the community that you're in, the people that you're gonna be with for the week and your teachers and supervisors and chaperones or counselors that are helping you throughout the process of project term. My second piece of advice is to thank your teachers, thank the people who are running your project term trip, especially Mr. Rossi. This is an amazing tradition and it's a great experience and it's amazing that Sacred Heart can still keep it going after so many years. Project Term likely boosted my courage and confidence to go overseas for university, despite going by myself and not knowing anyone on that side of the world. My name is Ella Squire. I'm a 2022 graduate alum. One of my most favorite and like treasured Project Term memories would have to be when I went with Mr. Rossi to Puerto Rico. We got to communicate and work with um, Carlos Concausa, which was um, kind of the organization that we were that we were helping with and we got to plant a microforest with them on our last couple days and that basically meant that we just planted trees we dug the holes ourselves we got to talk to some school kids that were there helping on the project as well and it was just kind of the most perfect perfectly balanced mixture of doing labor work and actually building something and also getting to work with the people and their cultures and learning all about that. Like if I had to tell someone something about Project Term, I would say to just really embrace it and completely let go of, I don't want to say let go of boundaries, but just to fully immerse yourself, you really have to open yourself up. Um, and the more you do that, the more you're going to get out of the experience and just enjoy yourselves. I mean, it's an awesome opportunity. It's still something I talk about today. and. I hope you guys have a blast and go Tigers! So enjoy and embrace your opportunities because they're likely to help you appreciate other cultures, enhance your creativity, and broaden your perspective. Have so much fun because it's like a short amount of time, but have a ball, like it's awesome. I know Project Term will continue to be such an impactful experience for all of you guys, and I hope that it's incredible in 2024. Safe travels, have fun today. I love the excitement of the reveal day. So enjoy, and I hope you all have a wonderful 2024 Project Term.